Well, we have arrived at the moment that I know you've been waiting for because it just wouldn't be Sports Center without a top 10. But before we get there, one final piece of business. Make sure you follow us on social media, on Twitter at ESPN WWOS, on Facebook at ESPN WWOS, and make sure you add the hashtag ESPN at Disney. Share any pics or videos of your time here with us. We'd love to see them. And for all the latest information, make sure you check out ESPN WWOS.com. Now I promise everything is out of the way. Here it is, the Sports Center Disney Edition Top 10 Best Moments in Our Complex's History. Number 10, opening day, March 28th, 1997. The day we integrated sports into the magic of Disney, making everything you see today possible. With just a stadium, a field house, some fields, and a whole lot of promise. Number nine, AAU sets the record for most teams and athletes at a single event. The 2012 AAU Girls Volleyball National Championship sets a record for the largest volleyball tournament in the world with over 2,631 participants. Number eight, 2017, the Pop Warner Super Bowl. The underdog, Waianae Tigers, all the way from Waianae, Hawaii. Shocked the Pop Warner world and upset the powerhouse Creeks Outlaws 16 to eight to become the first team from Hawaii ever to win a national championship. Number seven, 2018, the MAC Volleyball Conference Championship. The Iona Gales claimed the conference title for the first time in 14 years. And Coach Patrick Santiago had this to say about winning the championship. I ate a great, a great cheeseburger one time with Rick Cole at Applebee's, uh, and I'm really happy for that burger. Uh, but the emotion's unbelievable. I blacked out. I don't know what happened. I, I think the kids did well. We're so proud of them. Now that is what sports is all about. Number six on 2-25-2010, we opened the reimagined wide world of sports that incorporated one of the great Disney brands, ESPN, expanding their reach and continuing their mission to serve sports fans anytime, anywhere. Number five, twice a year, we have the privilege to host the Special Olympics Florida State Games bringing together athletes and partners from all over Florida to celebrate what is best about sports. We will also have the privilege of hosting the 2022 Special Olympics USA Games, which will bring together athletes from across the country. Number four, back in 2018, we celebrated 25 years of the Walt Disney World Marathon being the most magical place to race. Every year, Run Disney clears the way for over 20,000 runners to take over the roads of Walt Disney World and experience a little magic along the way. Number three, in July 2016, we have the honor of hosting the Invictus Games. It's an event to bring together servicemen and women who have been wounded in combat to come together and harness the power of sport to inspire recovery and generate a wider understanding and respect for those who serve their country. Number two, 2019's Junior NBA Global Championship quarterfinal. Europe down against China, seven seconds left on the clock. Ball gets passed to Elias Saramo, and he hits the buzzer beater to send Europe to the semifinals, ending a run for China. And number one, our top moment is the next one, the one you are going to make because sports is always moving forward, and there is always another moment to top. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's our show. We hope we have helped, inspired, and given you something to aim for during your time here with us. But before we go, we want to offer one final message. It goes without saying, no matter your sport, you have worked hard and the dedication you have shown is worth celebrating. No matter what happens while you're here, win or lose, you have already achieved something special. Every sport demands that you leave it all out there. And all we ask is that you take a moment, just a small one, to soak in where you are and who you're with. 
because that memory is exclusively yours, and it's our honor to help make it happen. From all the cast here at ESPN Wide World of Sports, I'm Tom James. Until next time, champions.